Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trade.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Uh, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a good uh, weekend. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading day. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, uh, only thing I ask would make me uh, really, really happy if you enjoy uh, the content and you are a daily watcher. Uh, all I ask is uh, be so kind and like the video. If you are brand new, subscribe to the channel and hopefully I will continue to provide you uh, daily value. So let's get to the tape. Uh, indexes wise, nothing really to write home about. Uh, market continues its grind higher. Uh, you know, we are starting uh, the summer months, summer days. Uh, you're going to experience some days they're going to be a lot slower than others. You're going to see some days that are a lot more aggressive than others. And this is all part of the game, you know, especially for people who live uh, in the Northeast that we're here, you know, we're, we're suffering seven, eight months out of the year when it's freezing, people go on vacation, people go, you know, people go, uh, you know, take a holiday, take a break. And you're going to be faced with days that sometimes the market doesn't do anything. However, there are opportunities if you put in the work, uh, if you are diligent in your research and you are committed to finding, you know, that one, you know, that one trade, you again, you don't need 200 trades, just that one trade. I think you will be uh, okay. Uh, other than that, the scoreboard, you know, Dow up 69 points, uh, S&P up uh, a little less than 14, and the NASDAQ up uh, 59 points. So let's talk about some names. Uh, let's talk about some individual names in the NASDAQ that kind of are doing something or not doing something. Uh, let's start off with the names that are doing something. Uh, Amazon, a uh, really nice break above the 50-day moving average a couple of days ago. It's just continuing to grind. Uh, we saw some 190 weeklies coming in. We saw some more uh, expiration, later expiration, 200 calls uh, coming in. But you can see here where your pot of gold is, at least the initial pot of gold, this 88.50 uh, 88 in the next uh, couple of days. Again, continue uh, to buy the strong names in dips. Uh, if you guys remember, we caught two really good pivots on Meta, the first one was above the 50-day moving average. It traded right to this linear regression line a couple of days ago, came back in, put in a lower high above the five-day moving average. All uh, Meta needs to do is get back above this linear regression line, start building, you should have the next leg up. Again, you're starting to see a lot more really good flow coming on Meta. The buyers are coming in very aggressively on the dips. So all it needs to do is get back above this linear regression line on the daily for more uh, upside. Uh, Microsoft, you know, we've highlighted Microsoft now several days. It reclaimed back uh, the 50-day moving average, got above this range. It's just a grind. It's kind of reflecting. Uh, it's kind of reflected the NASDAQ 100. Here's another example of a stock that has a magnet uh, to its linear regression line, roughly around that 431 level. Nice little pivot today uh, on Microsoft. We'll get to the pivots uh, in a second, uh, Apple had its uh, event today. Really nothing earth shattering. Okay. Uh, really, really nothing earth shattering. Nothing really that stood out there. Um, you know, was just something, you know, just something for them to put on. Um, you know, stock got sold in the event. A lot of these events, uh, they do get sold, but it really does show the testament of how strong the market is. Usually, if you would get this aggressive of a reversal, on Apple intraday, the market would have gotten killed. Not so much. Again, you could really show how strong uh, the market uh, continues to be. And you know, you have Nvidia, right? Nvidia today. You know, Nvidia today. This is a bad tick, uh, but Nvidia today, uh, first day trading. I don't know what this tick is. Uh, first day trading uh, after the ten for one split. Uh, I traded it today. I I, I kind of wanted to see its personality. Like we talked about on the weekend video, I, I wanted to see what eventually the stock will turn into. Uh, is it going to turn into more of a Tesla situation? Uh, is it going to turn more into an Apple, Google, Amazon situation? For the most part, I hope not. Or is it going to be kind of in between where AMD is, right? That's a very, very important question. So I, I shorted it today off, off of a pivot, went down a dollar. I guess it would be the equivalent of going down 10 
Uh, we took some cash flow, but again, I, I want to see, I, I want to see the personality kind of develop. I, I, again, I don't think we're going to see that personality over the next two, three days, but I think as you see the weeks unfold, you're going to see the true nature of NVIDIA, but still a pretty good aggressive nature, still very, very aggressive liquidity is off the charts. Whatever shares you want to trade, whatever liquidity you want, it's there for you. But important is the, the range uh, is still as, uh, as there. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, AMD got downgraded today. Uh, it's very, very close losing this bottom range here. We saw some pretty aggressive, you know, 155, 150 weeklies. Uh, excuse me, 150 short-term expiration. Again, just not acting well. Uh, Tesla. So, right, still sideways. But more important, well, not more important is at least we know Thursday there is that shareholder vote of Elon Musk's uh, compensation. I think it's like $58 billion. Considering how people are haters and considering that the stock is down, what, like 40%, uh, over the last calendar year, it's going to be tough to convince the share public that say, hey, you know what? He deserves his $58 billion. Um, Hey, I think he still does. Uh, but something has to give here, guys. Again, we've been talking about this nonstop. We're either going to get above this channel here or lose the 50-day moving average uh, and start to go low. We'll see. You know, we'll see. But so Thursday, uh, going into Friday, we'll get a you know pretty much a next good sense of what's going to happen uh, with Tesla. Uh, Neil. Right, Neil, we've been talking about for a couple of days. Uh, first close below the 50 day moving average today. Not the biggest move in the world just yet. Uh, the key, I, I really wanted to see a close uh, below the 523 lows. We didn't get that. However, we did get the lowest close in this whole formation, which is, which is equally uh, as good. If tomorrow it can get below, right? If tomorrow it could get below this Bollinger Band and confirm the 50-day moving average, then again, if you look at a peak of its future, what potentially could happen with a glimpse of the past, again, last time it lost the 50-day moving average, had a horrific, the stock basically got cut in half. So again, first close below uh, the 50-day moving average uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. Again, let's see uh, if it confirms. So let me give you guys uh, some names uh, that you know look good going into uh, tomorrow's session or at least stocks uh, that I am definitely, definitely watching. Uh, Meta, we are definitely watching tomorrow. If it could get back above this linear regression line, if it does, I do believe um, I do believe we'll get a, a lot of good aggression. It's been really a uh, bit up, especially after any early morning weakness. So that continues to be good. Uh, Amazon, I continue to like dips. Uh, I missed the dip this morning just because I was concentrating on some other things. Uh, but any dip, right? Any dip into rising support. You see how it keeps on... Uh, every rising support keeps on holding, right? You see this orange line? So if we can get down to this orange line or even any of these other supports, I, I do believe uh, it's another bounce candidate. Uh, Microsoft as well, uh, continue to buy this thing onto dips. Again, every dip here into rising support continues to hold uh, on the 60-minute moving average. Uh, some other names that I like, Carvana got upgraded today. Um, they, they got upgraded today uh, with a pretty lofty price target. Um it's very, very odd that the stock didn't explode. It actually got rejected back-to-back -back days in this 20-day supply. I, I do want to watch just in case tomorrow there's a, a, a delayed reaction, but I definitely want to keep an eye on this thing. If it could finally get above the 20-day supply to see if it could run up. We did see some July 21, uh, 120 calls come in this morning, so I definitely want to keep an eye on uh, that. Uh, a, a little bit of a smaller name, uh, ENVX. If you guys remember, uh, we had this thing a couple of weeks ago. Not a big move from this 1080s to the 1140s. It finally got above the 1140 area. The only reason why it stopped today was this linear regression line, just like Meta, right? Just like Meta, that's exactly the whole point of the linear regression lines. Watch this ENVX. If it gets, if it could get back above this linear regression line, I think this thing will take off. And keep an eye on four. Uh, we had this thing last night on the video. The problem is it didn't convert. Uh, it had an inside day. If you guys remember, um, NVAX had an inside day. Remember, NVAX broke out, had an inside day, and the next day went. Look at FOR, right? FOR, same thing. It broke out on Friday, inside day today. Keep an eye on this thing above Friday's uh, channel uh, as well. 
and Mobileye, right? Mobileye uh, had a great three-day run. I, I, again, I still think it probably needs to go sideways maybe another day or two to kind of get its feet together. But boy, oh boy, great, great run. There's a gentleman that I follow on uh, Twitter. He's a gentleman who, who grew up uh, in the same place as I did. The banana, banana. I, I, I apologize if I'm butchering his name. I got to give credit to credit is due. He tweeted this thing out a couple of days ago. I uh, had a great, great run. I, I like it. I like the setup. Uh, I really like the setup. He's also a Russian guy from Brain Beach, Brooklyn. That's all I'm saying. Uh, anyway, uh, kudos to him. But I, I like this thing over daily supply. If this thing could get above this daily supply in the next couple of days, I think this thing uh, goes higher as well. So that's it, guys. That's it. Tomorrow, actually, let's go through the pivots today uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's what. So uh, Carvana, I was watching for the 111 area. I uh, didn't confirm on uh, NVIDIA. You know, again, I wanted to see how the stock is trading. I shorted off the 118 level. It got down to this 117 level, uh, which again, pre-split, it's a ten dollar move. I don't look at it that way. It just one is it was a dollar move. You can see here it stopped right at the ten day. I'm gonna watch this thing the next couple of days. But yeah, a dollar move on uh, Nvidia, uh, Snapchat didn't confirm, Uber didn't confirm, and GameStop. Right I, again, I don't personally think the GameStop saga is over just yet. We've still seen a lot of out of the money calls still coming in, but I definitely think there's this is a, a, a name you can trade. You can trade both ways. When the channels are available, uh, 26 held twice Friday. Okay, if it builds below, it can flush and ta 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 ta. It flushed right to uh, 23.30s. That was our uh, that was our uh, target, and it went right to the 23.30s. So congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught uh, GameStop, Microsoft. Nice little spike. Uh, 46.28 needs to build. Here was um, Mr. Softy, right? Took out the 46.28, uh, went to 4.28. I still like this thing to go higher. I still think this thing uh, sees 4.31, uh, and I believe that is it. Yeah, I believe that is it. So that's it, guys. Business as usual. Again, re always remember, you're going to have days that are going to be very aggressive. You're going to have days that are very, very passive. Just take it in stride. One trade at a time, one day at a time. No expectations equals no disappointments. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. And with all as well, we'll hopefully see each other tomorrow. Take care.